Hi there folks, my name's NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. So here we are on Sunday the 25th of June 2017 in my first episode back after Flight SimCon and a week away. So I do want to say thank you very much to everyone for your patience and your appreciation uh, while I did take that little bit of a break. Um, don't forget to stay tuned to the channel, there are more videos from Flight SimCon. Con coming up over the course of the next couple of weeks uh, from all the videos and all the interviews that I did throughout that wonderful event um, and uh, uh, apologies if I do sound a little tired I had a Spartan race in Townsville yesterday um, so I flew up for that for the day and flew back the, the last night so I am a little shattered after that but I am here the news must come through as they always say so I'm here to report so without any further ado let's get started now we are kind of at the end of the year um, so this is there is a lot of sales underway so not a huge amount of products coming out um, in the last week but we've got a few come through so the first one uh, is one of my actually one of my I really like this development team because again as as long time viewers will know I like weird and wonderful and the guys over at Glowing Heat specialize in weird and wonderful and to this release is no exception so this is the Lockheed A12 Cygnus well officially the A12 never actually had a name so the A12 was the single seat um, uh, original sort of precursor to the SR-71 Blackbird. And the A-12 came out of a uh, secret CIA program called Oxcart, uh, which was designed to actually replace the venerable uh, U-2. Funny enough, the U-2, yeah, U-2 actually outlived the A-12 and the SR-71. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, so yeah, the, the A-12 was a single-seat, um, high-speed, high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft. Um, we would later see it uh, evolve into the SR-71 Blackbird, which had, of course had, uh, had uh, two seats, had the pilot and the systems operator. But yeah, the A-12 was the original program, um, which then the whole lot, everything was done by a single pilot. So yeah, kind of cool. Um, this is an absolutely beautifully detailed rendition of it um, with a, as pretty much as authentic a, uh, a, a detail and as, as highly detailed as you can possibly get considering that a lot of the contents is still classified um, so basically from whatever they uh, could, whatever resources they could get and fully capable of over Mach 3 and 80,000 feet inside the sim. So yeah, this is fully this is designed for the ESP platform. So FSX um, and prepared uh, 3D uh, prepared th version 3 and 4. Uh, and yeah, just looking absolutely gorgeous. It really does. Uh, really impressive. Um, these guys have done solid work with the SR71 previously and the um, B58 Hustler. One of my sort of earliest memories uh, of, uh, of aviation was a hustler and building models of it. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so glowing, the guys over at Glowing Heat, it looks like they've done incredible detail with this one. Available now from the Glowing Heat website or from your favourite flight sim retailer. Available uh, coming in at a price of... $35 or your, about $35 or your regional equivalent available now. All right, in other uh, flight simulation releases for this week, the guys over at JustSim, the Russian developers there, uh, they've released their latest one, which is Dusseldorf Airport, so Echo Delta Delta Lima. Um, so this one's a very, very busy sort of uh, uh, sort of hub for Air Berlin Eurowing, so sort of like a couple of the smaller low-cost airlines, but it is fully capable of handling um, aircraft all the way up to the Airbus A380. So the guys over at Justin have been sort of producing good solid content for a while, but I, I'm getting a little... Look, it, it's uh, really stat-wise, it looks really good, and they maintain their full compatibility with um, Orbix, including Germany North and FTX Global Vector and Global Open LC for Europe as well as some beautiful um, special uh, dynamic lighting just for P uh, prepared uh, version 4. Um, really good to see developers taking on board the uh, extra things and the extra features of um, prepared version 4 coming out now. Uh, beautiful high resolution to ground and rust runway textures, um, building textures fully, fully compatible with AR traffic as well. Some beautiful night effects um, for not only for prepared but also for other versions of the ESP platform. Um, 
a lot of just you know nice little detail um, including sort of like you know, the traffic around the airport um, 3d but uh, 3d life uh, wildlife animations as well so keeping in touch with all of the stuff that's one of the things that Orbix really like to do but I, I look I'll, I'll be honest though I've always got a bit concerned with just sim just just seem just lately seem to have been dropping the ball a little bit um they seem to be promising features that will come out after release and and quite frankly this isn't the first time that they've offering they said yeah yes we'll add in you know compatibility with things um i mean th this time around they've got full full compatibility with orbix you know products out of the box um but they've the, the sod uh, Jet jetways compatibility is still going to be two to three weeks away and you know I i'm kind of like guys just wait two weeks then and release it then like wait until you've actually got everything actually ready to go like you know just just saying it's getting a little old that you guys keep doing this anyway um but yes so it is fully as i said it is available now coming in um at 20 25 us dollars or your original equivalent uh available from all the major retailers available now all right, and in another release for the ESP platforms, uh, we saw the release of, from the guys over at um, Samsung, uh, Samsung 3D. So these guys have released another, uh, another, um, blah, ugh, oh God, I really can't talk today. Um, they've released another cityscape. So this is um, their Frankfurt Real City X um, for the ESP platforms, uh, coming in with very high definition um, photo real scenery um, of the entire city of uh, Frankfurt, along with over 10,000 Autogen buildings, um, including a lot of the custom buildings of skyscrapers from the Frankfurt area, um, and a lot of the uh, very iconic tower blocks uh, and residential areas from the from the uh, the city as well. Uh, very high definition uh, detail of the rail yards, uh, which is a very popular there, uh, and a lot of the churches and towers of the downtown area as well. So looking absolutely incredible, and some very detailed uh, custom designed, uh, custom modeled versions of bridges in that area as well. So uh, beautiful. Beautiful looking night lighting, beautiful looking um, setup with all the buildings there. So if you do want to give yourself a, a bit more of a uh, VFR experience uh, for going around the cities, um, that is available now. So yeah, available now to, from the uh, from the Sam from the Samsung website. Coming in at around about uh, around about uh, eighteen US dollars, um, sort of eighteen twenty US dollars, um, and available from the Samsung website or from PC Aviator. Available now. Alrighty, moving away from the flight simulation world and moving into the world of the permanent way. So, for Dovetail Games Train Simulator 2017, we saw a release of the Western Sichuan Pass uh, route add-on this week. So this is um, uh, a, 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 a the, one of the high-speed rail networks of uh, southwest China um, the, through the Sichuan province um, in southwest China, looking quite cool. So there's a lot of um, like extensive amount of track here. It's over 160 kilometers of uh, from I'm. So totally going to pronounce this wrong. From Dujongyang to Mao Maoshan uh, and Masatun. I've gotten, I've totally screwed that up, I am absolutely certain. Anyway, but yeah, you get a lot of very high speed um, railway lines for there to, as long, along with the C CRH 6F modern high speed train in both in the 4, 8 and 16 car configurations. So this gives you, not only does it give you this beautiful high detail scenery and railway line through some of the most picturesque parts of China, you also get five scenarios, um, five career scenarios included with this one as well, um, to do various different uh, sort of uh, runs, both and just give you challenges in both weather um, and getting the, uh, your passengers through on time. So yeah, as I said, a very interesting sort of de a very interesting sort of look at some very high speed rails, very, as I said, very picturesque scenery through China for this one. Uh, coming in at 40 US dollars available now on Steam and fully as I said um, you get the route you get the you get the route you also get the train and you get fully compatible with quick drive scenarios as well so coming in 40 US dollars available now on Steam 
Alright, continuing on at ground level and moving into something to that makes stuff. So, the guys uh, from Construction Simulator 2015, they're still pushing out good quality content uh, at the moment. So, this is uh, the latest, their latest one is the Lipa A918. Um, so, this is a, a wheeled excavator, um, a sort of uh, so with uh, to, uh, digging various trenches and holes in the ground and things that are required for construction. Um, but not only do you get, do you get the um, the excavator, you also get a crawler excavator, the R956, and you get the L1 uh, er fast erecting crane. So three vehicles coming in here, um, along with uh, scenarios to include for these uh, for scenarios and contracts to go with these vehicles are uh, fully compatible with uh, the, as I said, the Construction Simulator 2015 and looking kind of cool, kind of interesting and all fully licensed. So as I said, these guys have been putting out content, um, you know, obviously for two years now, for two, two or three years now and it's, just, it's always been good, solid content that we've been seeing come out from these guys. So another addition to the stable here. So coming in at a quite reasonable price as well, coming in at four US dollars or your original equivalent available now. Alright, and continue on with a couple of uh, new uh, bus-related uh, add-ons this week. So, the guys uh, from our Airsoft and Fern Bus Simulator, so they've released uh, an anniversary repaint package. So, um, this gives you some new liveries uh, for your buses. So, it gives you um, four liveries um, and three variations of each one to uh, be suitable for all of the um, the coaches currently available for Fern Bus Simulator, for Fern Bus Coach Simulator. So you're getting the uh, a winter style repaint, and you get a anniversary, uh, a French, Italian, and a Netherlands anniversary repaints um, in two different versions um, for all the different coach models currently available for Fern Bus Simulator. So coming in, uh, if you do want to give yourself a little bit of a uh, bit of a color variation and some uh, sort of national variations of your uh, of your coaches for Fern Bus, uh, coming in at reasonably priced, only two bucks, uh, two US dollars available now on Steam. And rounding out these simulation releases for this week, we saw the guys uh, for OMSI 2. So they've added a interesting new um, uh, add-on content for uh, OMSI 2. Uh, and that is a, uh, a, 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 they call it the, the Busted Tribe Simulator, which basically is a bus company simulator. So... I look at this and go, I really like the look of this add-on. I think this is cool. I look at this and basically go, this is something like FS Economy or Air Hauler um, for the OMC 2. Basically, you take on, you. It's a, it's a career mode style of doing things. Essentially, you're looking at, um, you you're starting a bus company, um, but using the OMC 2 engine. So it's, it actually gives you, you're not just going for a drive to actually sort of, you know, on a predefined route. You're actually going, no, you're doing this for profit, you're doing this doing calculating route, uh, routes to actually go, okay, what vehicles are you going to buy, what upgrades are you going to do, and it's actually just really cool and really interesting. It gives you, like, different license types, you know, shift schedules, you're actually organizing vehicles and stuff like that, and it's just a lot of really cool, interesting stuff, and there's a whole heap of, um, this also adds in a whole heap of uh, new maps, new buses for OMC2 as well, um, along with full support with all the um, all the add-ons, all the sort of payware developed add-ons, and also a lot of freeware add-ons for this one as well. So, very interesting. A lot of complex and a lot of interesting calculations going into this one. And as I said, just looks really cool. And I, as I, I really enjoy, I really enjoy Air Hauler. I'm a huge fan of Air Hauler One. Um, I really sort of going through Air Hauler Two. I promise, eventually, I will make a review video of it. Um, and I love things that give me a reason to go do stuff and go visit new places. And this looks like one of those things for the equivalent thing for. MC2. So, really good looking um, add-on for this one. If you're looking for this, it said to give you that different that drive to actually do something in your in your uh, bus simulator. This could be the add-on for you. As I said, uh, so this one's available now for the Steam edition, or uh, available from the Aerosoft website directly uh, for the non-Steam version. Available now, coming in at twenty-five US dollars or your original equivalent. Available now. Alright folks, that does wrap up the for the Nova app for this week. Thanks very much for joining me as we go off to we tick off all the new releases for the simulation world for the week. Don't forget as always to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more. And of course as always you can catch up with me on all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search NovaWing24. Alright folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.